Hello again. In this video, you will get goodness. You will get Egyptian Arabic goodness to its fullest. A lot of resources that you probably didn't know until now. Yeah, let's start. Without further ado, let's just look what we have here. Um, I, I just uh, start the uh, recording of this session. Okay, we are recording. So, um, let's start with dictionaries. Um, dictionaries uh, are um, great necessity, a very big necessity. We don't have that many. Um, we have uh, Hinz Badawi. Um, I won't talk about books now, but it, it, it is a very good uh, dictionary of uh, Egyptian Arabic. Um, but we will look at the online sources. The books, um, I will write them into the description and uh, the online resources, you will get them all here. So, the first one is uh, Lisan Masri. And Lisan Masri, uh, yeah, looks a bit like uh, Web 1.0 or 1.5. <laughs> uh, it is um, still very useful because you have, um, yeah, let's look at this word I just looked up, it's Dardish. Dardish means uh, chat, to chat, and yeah, you can also listen to it. Mm -hmm. And? Yedardish. okay. So it is, in this respect, very useful. And you have similar words and so on. What we don't have here is we don't have, yeah, the context. The sentences where this word, for example, um, um, yeah, occurs. And that's why we also look at another dictionary, which is this one. This is called uh, Luratuna. And uh, Luratuna, or um, as it says here in the uh, in this address bar, Living Arabic. You find it under livingarabic.com. You get all the links in the description below. So this is not only for Egypt Egyptian Arabic. This is also for Levantine and Maghrebi, means Darija dialects, but also classical which is literary Arabic or, yeah. Um, so, if we look up chat here, for example, the same, well, and I have to say also that you can search for roots, for word, and for English Arabic. So, if you we type in here, <clears throat> chat, oui, chat, okay, Egyptian chat. So, what do we get? It hadath, okay. That's exchange talk, but but you see, you get an example here. So you have the root, you have the um, the stem, it's hadath, and then you have also an example. Let's chat and laugh a little. خلينا نتحدث ونضحك شوية. So احكي, but you have also دردش, yes, دردش, and we have a sentence um, that goes with that. أعدين yeah, they keep on chatting as if they have nothing to do. And we have also other words for that, um, which is a little bit, um, yeah, this one here. So you see, you have a lot more here. But um, what I have to say about Lugatuna. Um, is um, and and also about uh, Lisan Masri, is that we don't have an information where they get their information from. So I was um, able to look it up and uh, see many examples, many of these sentences. For example, they come from um, books, actually, from dictionaries that are already there, or from sources um, that were already there. So, what is uh, something that I have to um, criticize about this work or these works is, um, yeah, people, you have to uh, lay open your sources. Um, other people have worked on this. Other people um, have a sort of copyright or something. I know what you do is a great service to mankind, <laughs> to Egyptian learning mankind, but, or... Moroccan Arabic, or uh, yeah, what do we have? A Levantine Arabic, but 
this is a big problem. Um, this is actually something that you at least have to mention somewhere, okay? So, for example, I, I don't want to go into details here, but um, Hinz Badawi was extensively used here um, by the creators. And also other works for Moroccan, for example, I saw that they uh, had examples from, um, yeah, uh, 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 a textbook uh, that was made f by the American Peace Corps or something like that. I've got those books, but well, this is this is not so fine, people. Well, okay, let's jump to the next one, which is original, original. This is an original work. I actually know these people, well, especially one of those people, which is Claude Audebert, uh, a great professor and teacher. Um, yeah, she was the supervisor of my thesis, so I have to say that. <laughs> no, no, she's really great. So, um, they did a great job of, um, yeah, making, creating a dictionary um, that uh, comprise verbs only, but only in, in, uh, uh, in brackets. Or um, This is a great, great original work. It is, um, unfortunately, or luckily, for those who speak French, it is in French. So, yeah, you've got to know some French, but, well, in the internet, you can translate anything very fast so don't worry about um yeah about the french you just get a lot of information um about yeah you you just get um everything you need about all those verbs that are around there in egyptian arabic isn't that great so um we can look up for example get get here you get the transliteration uh, which is not translation here it is like um transcription hmm? it's 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 uh, used uh is ga and it's good and then you have get dead and uh, you get oh well sorry this is the the um the root so it's gim uh, dal and another dal which is like a geminated one so okay and then you have the parts of active, you have the modare, which is the present tense, and so on. So when we jump into this, for example, hop, you get uh, a lot of stuff. You get the forms, you get uh, the meaning, which is s'appliquer, faire des efforts, travailler sérieusement, c'est ce que je fais là maintenant. Bon, but I don't want to talk French. Okay, so it means like uh, work really hard, you know, work with um, with a, in a serious manner. So, well, you have shurta btgad hashan tlaqi dalil. Yeah, that's what the police does. The shurta. And the police s'applique pour trouver un indice. Yeah, they try to find proof. So, you got that. You know, it's taken out of uh, a police movie. I don't know where they got that from, but these are true delils. Uh, you know, de adilla. You have a great adilla in this dictionary. Uh, look your verbs up here. Get it translated with your, uh, well, standard translator uh, given by Google or something. You can translate a whole... Um, websites and then you know the french won't even bother you you get everything and you have permanent links here you see that so this is a, a great great work and here you see the people who contributed claude odebert salwa fuad samia abu steed hoda khuzan and so on asma yusuf amani azatin musta ibrahim nagla hamdi botros okay and then you have the version and so on so they are already very far they are already very far they are at which let's say um, where where did they? I think they they are already at the uh, uh, letter H. H. So where do we get this? I, yeah, I, I haven't used it a lot because I already know so much. <laughs> so um, verb. Et voilà. Bon. Donc. So here, here we go. When you go to fin, which means end, last, so the last is ha. So you arrived at ha already. Ya yeah, salam. You made, a, you did a great job. Wallah, the shogl da tuhfa ya gama'a. Tuhfa. Taib. Kaman tuhfa yani lugatuna walakin yani kan lazim. 
كان لازم يعني يعني يورينا كان لازم يورينا يا راجل يورينا المصادر يا راجل مش كويس كده ولكن يعني معلش معلش يعني ان شاء الله يعني بالمستقبل طيب اوكي سو ليتس كونتينيو وات دو وي هاف هير ذس از تيم ماها تيم ماها ذس از سو جريت ذس از ميد باي تو بيبل Well, I, I, I saw two people. So there is one um, person uh, responsible for the Levantine dialect and another person for the Egyptian one. So this is Chris Hitchcock. And Chris Hitchcock is uh, responsible for the Levantine version i think so and he actually gives us a lot of detailed information about um peculiarities of the levantine uh dialect and also you know you have regia here and um what how it's used in north levantine and in south levantine and so on and so on um This just goes on and on, Lekun, you know, interesting words that you always find in those dialects. Well, sorry that I'm now in Levantine here. We wanted to talk about Egyptian Arabic, and here you have Egyptian Arabic, come on. Egyptian Arabic, Caitlin, uh, I don't know her last name, but that's not so important, we can look it up here. Uh, and about um, we can do that now, but you know you you, you have a lot of stuff here. It just um, it just uh, so much you know words explained and also ex, ex, um, expressions and um, also um, why they are so special and how you use them. You know something like bita for example. Bita is very important you know in Egyptian Arabic. So you get all this. Great work, very great work. You have uh, it's also socio cultural, cultural, linguistically very interesting. You get, uh, yeah, mm, well, not uh, recipes, but you get, you know, know, get to know things that you wouldn't know, yeah, um, that easy, but they are very important in e Egypt. Batir, okay, Batir is also something uh, special if you call somebody like Batir. Yeah, Batir, yeah. It is, uh, 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 yeah, they, they also explain to you um, why things, uh, yeah, how you insult people or when you uh, are insulted what to do. You got to know fishes, uh, these fasikh, uh, fishes, you know, yeah. Very tasty. You got uh, dakh for example. Well, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I won't. I won't explain all this to you. It's. It's just uh, amazing how much they um, put together here. And you see seven of these pages. Oh my God! This is a lot of work which has gone in here. I know. Enlarge your brain. Things of that. Father of mustache. <laughs> very funny pose. Uh, very nice to read. Yeah, I love those guys. I love these two guys. They, or even if perhaps there are more. We look into about. So we have Caitlin and Chris. Yeah, Team Maha and Team Nasreen. So these are the two. One is based in Cairo, Caitlin, and the other Chris in London, UK now. They do a great work, uh, work here. Okay, so... Um, let's jump to the next one, um, which is uh, also a great resource. <laughs> um, well, this is the Defense Language Institute Foreign Language Center. Um, the stuff that you find in here uh, on Arabic, uh, on Egyptian Arabic, on Iraqi Arabic, on Levantine Arabic, with transcriptions and all this stuff is great. It's just wonderful. So you get lessons, you get video lessons, and you can say, okay, all levels, blah, blah, and oh, we don't have any le video lessons for Egyptian. But you have 170 lessons for Egyptian, and if you are a beginner, uh, let's say one, how, do, how many do we, got? Uh, do we get? 62. Right, let's look. Okay, you see? How to make Fatih? Fatih, Fatih, not Fatih. Uh, or let's go shopping. Yeah, let's go shopping. And you see here? PDF and MP3 
Mm -hmm. So you better go there and uh, you download this and you get this um, great starting level uh, audio material, which is not their best material. I think, um, so I'm told, um, the Department of Defense has a lot more and they are good at that. So perhaps um, you should look into this, definitely, but don't use it with a gun in your hand, all right? So let's go to the next one. Well, um, try to be funny here, but well, that's the reality. Sorry, mates. So, okay, that's another one. We got um, some programs here. Uh, yeah, al Arabiya. But why, what I wanted to show you is this, talking Arabic. We, they have some nice um, videos and so on, but it's not a lot. So I'm a member here, I paid my dues. But I find they need to do more. It's not. Um, it's not. It's not enough. So uh, I like it. I like talking Arabic. I don't want to show um, footage here because it's their original material and it's copyrighted and stuff. I don't want to go into it. And um, but um, yeah, they have to find more people to do it. It's high quality. It's really high quality. Most of the videos are high quality. That's true. And you got also subtitles and so on. Um, they are good. We can we can look at a little one here, just to show. Okay, there is no subtitle here, but um, actually there are. Um, there is stuff that that has uh, subtitles, so it's good. It's good, but. It costs uh, uh, quite a bit, and um, they need more material. Come on, they need more material to really bolster it, to really have it, you know, a full platform where you really, um, yeah, get to dive into it more and uh, learn more deeply. So, so that was that. What's next? Next is one of my favorite uh, sites, and this has been around for quite a long time and uh, happily luckily so um, Chris Gretien or Gretien sorry Chris <laughs> I don't know if you're f some kind of French uh, if you have a friend or but, well, forget it so there's a very interesting guy I think he um, right now at the moment he's a professor somewhere in the States but he did a great job um, doing this <laughs> look at the date 2008. Um, this is also these uh, days, those days, um, where we had, where I was, you know, desperately searching for material to learn my, you know, Egyptian Arabic. But then I was uh, very um, busy with doing other stuff. But this actually, you get songs here, all right. But you, you don't listen only to songs. He explains very, very well um, the language of the songs so the vocabulary you know and he has a link to the youtube video then you he explains to you um what what the song is about and well he says something about pop music here um i can make it a bit bigger so pop music is one of the portals to the world of spoken arabic totally true chris uh, and so on and so on you know, so Mahalas uh, Samira side. These songs, of course, you know, they are not the newest ones. Perhaps you have other favorite songs, but you can start with those. And he explains it very well. So he has the lyrics here in Arabic. Um, and then he explains to you what's in there. So the first thing you learn in Egyptian Arabic is Hayiz Wawiz. Okay, and then he says, okay, it follows the pattern and so on, um, making it a kind of uh, participle and so on and so on. Great stuff and um, explain, you know, in length, in depth, because this is the first song. He does a very thorough job here with this, um, yeah, with the first song. Uh, and yeah, so you just, 
yeah, I don't, I don't want to click into it. I just want you to, to acknowledge and to go through it and also listen to some of the songs and, and check out which one you like and then uh, sing it and, and uh, memorize it and so on. This is really, really great, great. Yeah, and one of the first I found on the internet. So yeah, donate or do anything to make Chris happy. Okay, what else? Um, we can watch movies. Mm, um, I uh, have another video where I explain how you um, learn Egyptian Arabic uh, watching Netflix and with all these goodies in there, um, with the extension and so on. So here um, you can also check out YouTube. And in YouTube, do you have this possibility uh, to watch some films? Not that many, but this is quite a funny one. And film uh, Arabi had Sami. So what Sami Abbas? Okay. Had. Okay. So um, you get the link. You know, you 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 find some films. There are not so many. Okay, so we jump to a scene in the film. Let's see. Okay, you see, we have also the Arabic here. Mm -hmm. It's not only the transcription. Um, you have also the Arabic. Okay, itfaddal, itfaddal. Let's jump to the next one. Peace Cake. Where? Peace Cake is a channel, a YouTube channel made by Egyptians for uh, Egyptians or for those who want to become Egyptians, at least um, language wise. Um, this is a wonderful resource for language, a wonderful resource for language. It is also funny. So uh, especially some of the um, playlists here, they are fully subtitled, which is fantastic. Just this one, for example, as far as I know, this is completely subtitled. It is a bit difficult to understand. You see? <laughs> okay, so these are the uh, funny games, goofy games, and you see they, they have all subtitles, and so on. Yeah, piece of cake. Piece of cake, is, I don't know if it will be a piece of cake for you to learn with this, but this is precious, a precious resource, really precious resource. Okay. Mm. Um, when you are not yet, well, okay, first, first some, another thing. Um, I've got another extension installed here um, that I have to show you. But this uh, extension is also great. It is one of the best things you can use for language learning. It is called YouTube Playback Speed Control. I have it already installed. Uh, you will get the link for that. Um, but let's jump back to the uh, to the piece of cake here and then you see this 1.0 up here okay uh, this is the speed and you can now uh, typing s you can make it slower okay now we have 0 75 and when you start it again <laughs> okay you see um, it's getting already very slow but you do this in steps of 0 0.05 percent uh sorry five percent okay not ten percent this is great um because you can adjust uh, every video to your needs and so download this and use it okay next one um when you're not yet done with your uh, modern standard Arabic, uh, if you have, don't have the basis, you know, to uh, jump into um, Arabic, uh, Egyptian Arabic right away, um, perhaps uh, you would also um, like to consider to um, subscribe to this guy here, Mimo. Uh, Mimo does Egyptian Arabic courses and he has got a lot of videos here online already he's a big he's a big teacher he's he's doing this for years now and i think that he deserves a little bit more attention because um 
he does a good job and you will get the basics. Um, if you have already learned um, a dialect, uh, many of the stuff here won't be necessarily what you need, but still um, very highly recommended. And <laughs> let's jump in into one video just for fun. Just to look how this uh, looks like. What is the biggest challenge that you okay. face learning Egyptian Arabic? <laughs> and here are your answer. You see, you conjugate for the verb. He speaks very well English, um, which is a very important point. And he explains a wow. lot of uh, basic stuff, but also intermediate stuff, um, which is great. Um, highly recommended. Okay, let's jump to the next point. Easy Egyptian Arabic. Um, this is, um, well, this belongs to this series of easy blah blah language. So, great stuff. Also fully subtitled uh, and also uh, transcribed. In, um, and also very basic stuff, very communicational stuff, um, stuff that you need every day. So, <laughs> they, here was this Talat Basha. <laughs> so, yeah, this is um, great stuff. Uh, and um, uh, you should check out everything they do. This is very funny. And also uh, very, um, let's say, um, instructional. It, it helps you a lot, um, learning uh, Egyptian. All right, you, you just check out Easy Egyptian Arabic and then um, you will find uh, a lot of videos. All right, so let's go to the next one. The next one, um, yeah, which is, let's say, one of the most essential things that you would need to do. I already click on it. Oh, there is my face. Um, uh, so, the, 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 the very important thing that you need to do is to talk to people. So, if you live in, uh, I don't know, in uh, South Dakota or somewhere, um, you won't find that many Egyptian people, perhaps, you know, in your um, neighborhood or um, in the village you live in. So, perhaps you uh, need to use one of these tools. And this tool, um, the application italki, uh, a huge application where you can find a lot of languages, languages that you perhaps uh, not even have heard about, uh, like African languages, you know, crazy stuff, but great stuff. So um, I use it for uh, Egyptian and Moroccan, and I have also used it for Farsi and so on. You, you find a lot of stuff. And uh, this is one of my favorite teachers, perhaps, not perhaps, this is, yeah, well, for Egyptian anyway, Ahmed Diab, if you can uh, get an hour with him, you know, you should get him. <laughs> and also here for my Moroccan, uh, Arabic uh, is Ben, and fluency with Ben, also highly recommended. Um, but not, yeah, don't book him out, okay? Don't book those two out, I need them. All right. So I talk, you don't forget this. So the next one, also very great. This is actually the first one I um, discovered. It's called Netkellam. Um, and Netkellam um, was made for um, yeah people who want to learn um, Arabic. And it, I think when they started, it was uh, Levantine Arabic and uh, Modern Standard Arabic or literary Arabic. So now they had a, they have a lot of um, they have a, a lot more. Um, they have the other dialects, some of the other dialects, um, uh, Arabic dialects, but they have also Spanish and French and so on. And which is great about this, it's made by um, refugees, Syrian refugees, as far as I know, and also by women um, who run this um, um, whole enterprise. Uh, and I love it. I already um, um, yeah booked. Uh, I was with this when they when they just started and yeah I I would also um, recommend that you do this uh, yeah this is really something that should be supported and also the prices here they seem to me a bit more let's say uh, normal 
um, and and uh, prices that they actually deserve, you know, because on Italki you have a dumping system. It seems to me that sometimes uh, the prices are just too low, and you pay the people who do a great work, you know, not enough money. Well, of course you can say yeah, they live in I don't know in in Egypt and they. Um, have a, a life a cost um, um, cost of livelihood um, a lot uh, lower than we do in our a first world or global north or you know uh, yeah but still you know they do the same job and if they do a good job you should also pay them well all right so Okay, Natkalam, um, great great thing and you see Arabic Armenian French Kurdish Persian and Spanish you see they are already there um you can also sign up as a student and so on okay so the next one tandem all right tandem tandem is uh, also fantastic but tandem uh, is as the name already says is an exchange thing as far as i know tandem is made in germany uh, berlin um and um, actually, it is great. It is big. It is a big, big thing. Um, you can find a lot of languages here, and it's also quite uh, easy to um, to get in touch with people, to talk to people. Well, of course, it depends on which language you want to study or want to um, practice. Um, there are not always, you know, uh, the languages. Um, available that you need for example um i for my uh, in my case i um try to find people who speak dutch and there weren't so many <laughs> actually they all know german uh, they all know i don't know they don't want to learn turkish i don't know actually uh, there wasn't that many that um i could find for my dutch but arabic is fine you get a lot of arabic uh here you get a lot of, also a lot of egyptian if you like uh, or moroccan I also found Moroccan people, um, Algerian, any anyone. But the problem of tandem is, I have to say that the problem of tandem is um, sometimes it seems to me as if this is a dating platform. Man, what's going on here? <laughs> so people say, uh, I don't know, hey, beautiful, or I don't know. It's, it's just, or you get messages from uh, people who um, like your looks. Oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> And then you're kind of into talking and uh, you don't really exchange. And the other thing is the chats, um, they try to die out in a way. You, you don't, you're not, you know, getting down to uh, talk a lot um, and, and, and in depth about things. People can't match times and uh, the strings are just loosened very um, fast so you get to know uh, somebody then you chat a little bit and then they have things to do and and they're gone and also it's also my case you know so uh, you have to um, also think that this is a lot of time you put in here you also have to put a lot of time in to uh, talking to those people um, they they are not there to teach you only so you have to be uh, very just here okay so if you take uh, half an hour of their time you have to give half an hour so now if you gave if you give one hour you also take one hour more or less okay so this has to be on on, on a level ground so um yeah so i think this um tandem is great but um it it is perhaps a good thing to find uh, or it you you rather you know find the the people that you can work with well and that it give you uh, the sense of progress that you need mm -hmm. this is one thing all right Okay, this was it. Um, this is the big fat list of Egyptian resources that I use, that I find very useful and that I also recommend um, for use. Um, you probably have other um, resources that you use. Um, if you have any and if you can recommend them, um, yeah, please write this in uh, the comments. And you can always like my videos. <laughs> you can also subscribe if you want. There will be a lot more Arabic uh, goodness, uh, language goodness coming here. And I'm happy to see you in the next video.